Welcome everyone. My name is Tanya Trebik. I'm a professor in economics and program leader of the Master Economics and Strategy in Emerging Market at the School of Business and Economics, Maastricht University. Here we value the direct interaction between teachers and students through our problem-based learning approach in a truly international atmosphere. What are emerging markets and why should we care about all these countries? Well, we, we see this in the map. They're all around the world and they're the most prominent and dynamic countries um, uh, that we uh, see in the global environment today. How much important are they for global growth, do you think? Well, it's been shown that 50% of global growth will be related to the largest emerging market uh, economies like China, Brazil and uh, India, for instance. Why are they uh, uh, growing so much? Well, th there's a lot of opportunities there, but uh, they also face challenges. And this is why studying about emerging markets, it's not only about learning about how, grow, uh, how much they grow and how um, many opportunities there are for firms and for individuals going there, but also you need to learn about the macroeconomic environment and the issues uh, in particular uh, linked to politics, as we've seen in uh, South Africa or more recently in Brazil. And these changing and volatile politics can really have uh, a large impact also on the economic environment for businesses, but also for policymakers in emerging markets. Another challenge that we'll discuss in the program is how these emerging markets are more and more globally integrated in trade flows, in value chains, in all the interactions of knowledge, of uh, goods, of uh, migration of people, and uh, what we have to learn from this from a policy perspective, but also from a firm uh, perspective. These firms in emerging markets, uh, they're important not only because our multinationals from advanced countries are going there for opportunities of growth and the uh, growing middle income of Chinese um, uh, citizens or uh, um, in India, but also because the firms from these countries are now coming to Europe, coming to uh, uh, the US to compete with our own firms and our uh, new uh, global firms that are very important in uh, the international environment. Firms like Huawei, Embraer or American Marvel are uh, true uh, global players in the economy, which you should know about and you should learn from in order to uh, um, learn about the new framework of businesses in global economies. So what do we offer? We offer a truly integrated approach linking economics and business uh, aspects and concepts to uh, teach you how to deal with a, in a sustainable way with uh, business opportunities and policy issues in emerging markets. This is done in collaboration between the School of Business and Economics and Unimerit. Unimerit is part of the United Nations University uh, network, which I will show you in a minute, and is uh, related, of course, to, to the United Nations uh, perspective on, for example, the development of sustainable development goals, but also do, is doing a lot of field work projects in uh, emerging economies, which we will see uh, in a minute our students will uh, truly be able to uh, enjoy uh, as well. So what's the structure of the curriculum? The structure of the curriculum is that in the first semester, uh, we have a number of courses to offer you a wide um, background on the economics and uh, strategic aspects uh, in emerging markets. So the academic knowledge in uh, uh, core courses such as international macroeconomics and finance in emerging markets, or empirical methods so that you can prepare for a thesis and build empirical skills. But along with these more uh, standard academic courses, you have also um, a project-based approach where in the course policy in emerging markets, you will, in a, a collaboration with uh, researchers and uh, organizations linked to a United Nations uh, University, work on a real life case a project in an emerging market about an emerging market policy issue. And uh, at the same time, all along these courses, you will develop professional uh, competences, in including uh, uh, language uh, that you may need in order to uh, work and live in an emerging market. Then in the second semester, 
we have a much flexible framework where you can choose uh, between different electives and create your own profile. You want to work on sustainable business. You want to work on the link between global value chain, supply chain management, and how to link economics and business on these issues. You want to work on policy and learn to evaluate policies in emerging markets. You can all do all that uh, by choosing uh, among the courses offered by uni uh, merit researchers and School of Business and Economics uh, uh, researchers as well. And all this is in a flexible environment where you can also combine these courses with an internship here in the Maastricht region within our network or also uh, abroad, uh, as I will explain in a minute. What about these projects? Well, here you can see a snapshot of the project management workshop that we have had to this, this year uh, together with the servants, uh, service science factor, which we had expertise on uh, developing uh, skills to manage uh, a project, to uh, de uh, define the problem, to define the stakeholders, and to truly see how to um, uh, define the goals that the project has to uh, implement. In teams of six students, they have interacted with uh, researchers on topics as diverse as the Sino-European uh, uh, circular network or uh, migration issues between Germany and African countries or also global value chains for Thailand. All these projects are linked to policy making or uh, uh, international organizations involved in uh, policy such as the German GIZ or the Asian Development Bank. Along with this project and the courses, uh, you will learn a language through our collaboration with the Language Center here in Maastricht, and at the same time assist guest lectures with professionals, policymakers, um, uh, entrepreneurs engaged uh, in emerging markets and having experience there where you can interact in a monthly basis with them, asking them about intercultural communication issues, about careers and paths in emerging markets. As you will, you will uh, uh, see, they're much more diverse, but also much more exciting than um, uh, in advanced economies. You have to adjust to local conditions. You have to adjust to changes in the political uh, um, environment. And maybe you have to switch careers uh, more often. But this, uh, this is why this program is especially targeted to adventurous people, people who are there for a challenge in working in, a, in relation with emerging markets. How will you uh, get this first foot into your job opportunities? Well, here at SBE, we have developed uh, uh, different types of internship possibilities all through, uh, through your program, so you will not have study delay. One is the thesis internship program, and one is an extracurricular internship that you can do uh, all along the way. These internships uh, can be here uh, in Europe, but also in emerging markets. And why we can do that is because we have experience now in developing a network uh, with firms and organizations in all these places, and the support of the internship office here with which we collaborate uh, every day to find internships together with the student uh, that fits best the career goals of the student and uh, can reflect on uh, all the possibilities offered by the program. So an example of past uh, internships that we have offered in Latin America, or uh, as I will show in a minute in, uh, in Asia, show you the diversity of opportunities in emerging markets, but also the wide network that we have been able to uh, develop with multinationals, with startups, with policy institutions and NGOs. Finally, our approach is really that of a close-knit community, which we developed from the bachelor to the master with a very involved core staff team with which we have developed the program and uh, with which we collaborate every day with the students, getting their feedback to improve every day uh, our courses and uh, develop further our expertise to serve our students. So what can you expect after finalizing your master? Well, of course, you're very happy to be done, but that's only one uh, step in your career. Of course, uh, uh, there are many job opportunities linked to the internship or not, uh, or you can, of course, uh, start right away after the master. And all these possibilities are both in the private sector, in the policy area, 
or um, uh, more generally in the interaction between the two as our trip to the World Bank uh, uh, last year and repeating this year has shown that this integration between policy making and private actors is more and more relevant uh, in um, our recent world. And finally, um, as uh, discussed here by F Neil Foster McGregor, the Deputy Director of United Nations Union Maritime Merit involved uh, in our program, here the point is to learn about challenges and also opportunities in emerging markets given their uh, growth and the importance that they have in the global economy today. So where will your future be? Do you want to come to us and learn about all these opportunities and challenges uh, with uh, emerging markets? Uh, well, if you're interested, of course, there's a lot more information available on the website, but uh, we would be happy to welcome you next year. Start your application today.